Hey guys! <laughs> if I did the whole video like this, would you guys like that? Would you think I'm in danger? Let's do it. No, I'm kidding. Okay. So I'm kind of excited about this one because I get to dream a little. Isn't that fun? So I've owned this property for about a year now. You guys have probably slowly watched it kind of start coming to life. There's a long way to go. But I tell you what, there are five things that I want to add to this joint this year. And we're gonna get into it ripping off the Band-Aid. The most expensive, straight out of the gate. That's how I like to do things. Straight out of the gate, just ripping Band-Aids. So we're starting off with the Vitsu 606 Universal Shelving System. You're probably familiar with Dieter Rams and his work for Braun or Brown, however you wanna say it. All beautiful, functional, iconic designs. What you might not be familiar with is Vitsu. Vitsu has been around for over 60 years and they sell three products. All Diderom's designs. And I love them. I love brands that are unabashed with what they do and how they do it. Vitsu does three things and they optimize to do those things the best they can. So their main product is the 606 Universal Shelving System. It's a modular shelving system that is meant to move with you throughout your life from home to home, growing or shrinking when needed, and then to be passed down through generations. It's a neutral design that kind of blends in with any environment. It's so clever, and the beauty isn't just in how it looks, but the whole process with Fitsu. Next up, let's go to the polar opposite on this list, the least expensive item. I want an alarm clock, a good one. So I don't like having a phone in my room because I like it too much. I'm a fairly self-aware guy and I know that I don't have a shut-off valve for some things, namely two things, chocolate chip cookies and scrolling endlessly when I'm trying to go to sleep. Some things just have too much of a pull for me to where I just can't have them around. And I've gone down the sleep rabbit hole. I've had the aura ring, I've tracked my sleep, I've optimized for my sleep, I've read the things, I've taken the cold showers. And the consensus is, you don't want a bright light in your face when you're trying to go to sleep. Hard to believe, but it's true. So what am I thinking? I'm thinking the Twemco alarm clock. I first saw this in the show Master of None in Dev's apartment. Um, I think Dev's apartment on the show is masterfully curated, and I've talked about this in my newsletter. Are you subscribed to my newsletter? Because you should be, because it goes out every Friday. It's super short, and it's super rad. Back to the alarm clock. So, my only worry is that it's too mid-century. You have to be careful with mid-century items at home. You can't have too many in your space at once. Otherwise, it becomes some weird cosplay-like situation. It's not a good look. I think my place allows for a few more solid mid-century pieces before it's full-on cosplay, poodle skirts and soda pop vibes. I'm gonna get it. Let's go expensive again. Ogis speakers for my living room. So recently I started a new activity with my best pal where both of us bring five songs and we listen to them fully. That's the whole thing, it's a listening party. Currently we're playing this music cranked up on the Sonos system that I started building years ago and I love the Sonos system, but 
It got me thinking. This activity has become one of my favorite things. What if I could elevate it? What if I could have this playing on a real deal speaker system that's not only beautiful to listen to, but beautiful to look at? Enter OGIS. So OGIS is a brand by Devin Turnbull. He studied audio, but made his name in clothing, and then came back to audio, and he has been taking off. I'm sure his audio equipment sounds amazing, but it also looks incredible. These things are perpetually sold out, but I am dying to get a pair of these for my living room. Next up, another one that is perpetually sold out, the Akari 10A floor lamp. Lighting is more important than most people think. Lighting sets the mood, whatever mood. And I love my living room here because there are no overhead lights. I love that because I love floor lamps and I love table lamps. They just feel cozy. This is a place, this is an area that I want to be cozy. The Akari lamps were designed by famed artist Isamu Noguchi. I love these lamps because they have this organic lantern-y vibe to them. The shades are made of bamboo and paper. They look almost weightless. They have this really warm characteristic to them. And once again, that's how I want my living room to feel when people come here. I want my living room to be warm, inviting. Look at my OJA speakers. And finally, I need two heavy hitting chairs from my living room across from this sofa. Yeah. So I have the sofa I want. It took me about three months to find this baby and I love it. But I need chairs across from it. I need them to bring the heat like this sofa brings the heat. And I think I've landed on the Verrier Extrem. Candidly, I wasn't very keen on these chairs when I first saw them. I didn't get it. But I kept coming back to them, and then finally I was like, I think I get it. I get it. I think. They just seem so playful and sculptural. I've never seen anything like them. I love the brand Verrier and their ethos. They're all about play and movement. They break the mold of what furniture companies expect of their customers, which is you sit here for hours, you don't move, and we'll work with that. Verrier wants you to move. You all might have seen this peeking through in some videos, but I have the Verrier variable. After seeing it countless times on the show Billions, I was sold. My guests gravitate toward it when they come in. It's fun, it's playful, and I want more of that. The Extrem will no doubt provide more of that, and they look awesome to boot. They look like sculptures, but you sit on them. Sounds pretty cool to me. We're gonna end this next to a very bright Noguchi. Five things that I'm jonesing to get for this place this year. Do you guys have any of these? Any thoughts? Is there anything better? Put in the comments below, I wanna know. And I will see you on the next one.